Hey, what's up, people? Uh, YouTubers. Basically, what I want to do is cover the following. A lot of people have also requested not only the use of Virtual DJ, but also the use of with Tractor Pro. So, what I'm going to do is demonstrate a quick video on how to use the Pioneer DDJSX with uh, Tractor Pro. And the only version that you're limited to is actually 2.6. So, keep that in mind when doing this. Uh, if you try it with any other version, it will not work. And the reason why is because this is what the mapper was specifically created to work for and for this reason will not work with any other version of the software so if you have 2.6 uh, proceed forward follow these directions and this should get you up and running keep in mind I'm not fully familiar with tractor so uh, I'm not really sure I've tested what functions work and what doesn't uh, thus far in this version as far as I know the up faders do not work instead you have to use the rotaries uh, to be able to you know drop down the volume levels respectively <clears throat> your crossfader does not work as well uh, the drum pads I believe do work uh, the hot cue points and I haven't really tried anything else the uh, color faders as they call it or uh, <clears throat> rotary color knobs they work so anyway with that said in mind uh, we'll proceed forward and just show you real quick first off you do have to perform the update the firmware update that's uh, illustrated for use with Virtual DJ and Tractor. Uh, if you need to find it, you can just do a search for Pioneer DDJ SX Firmware Update uh, DJ ESCO or by DJ ESCO and it should pop up on your YouTube. <coughs> Sorry, I got... Uh, <coughs> my throat's bothering me. Anyway, so moving on. <coughs> uh, this is what you'll have to do. You'll, you could go to Tech Tools. I'm sure you could probably do a search anywhere else, but this is where I found it. So you can go to Tech Tools and go to this website here, which is https colon forward slash forward slash maps dot tech tools dot com. This is where you can find various MIDI mappers uh, by Tech Tools. <clears throat> you will have to register in order to be able to use this. The keyword that we're going to use here is ddj sx. The one version that we're going to look for is the one by Viper, and thus far this is the only person that's created uh, <clears throat> any tractor maps or maps, shall we say, uh, in Tech Tools for the Pioneer DDJ. So the version that we're, we are wanting is the uh, Viper's Pioneer DDJ SX Tractor Mapping version 6.1. This does not mean that it does work with version 6.1, it just means that that's his... Um, I guess version <clears throat> or remake of it. There will be some description and instructions. Um, I didn't have to follow the uh, other software mode. In other words, after you do the firmware update, and it doesn't seem like you have to follow that. However, he does have an array of what's being mapped on it and things like that. And uh, anyway, he's done a great job. So <clears throat> you can uh, sign in, of course, and then you're able to download it. Once you download it, then what you'll do is you'll actually launch. <coughs> sorry, excuse me. <coughs> you actually launch. Um, uh, let's see, Tractor, and where is that? Native Instruments. Yep. Okay, so we're gonna launch Tractor, and Tractor should be coming up shortly. <coughs> I think my computer is a bit slow. <clears throat> Shooting this real time so you kind of know how to set it up yourself and do these things uh, as a walkthrough. You'll be greeted by this, and typically it'll ask you what controller you're going to use it with, etc. Whatever. I would just go with none and keep going, and then once you're able to. <laughs> exit this um, <clears throat> uh, menu or window or whatever the wizard as is, is, is really called <clears throat> then I would go to um, tractor itself I gotta wait <coughs> okay there it is alright you go to tractor up here Let's see there you go that better okay you go to tractor uh, preferences uh, 
and I keep getting this beach ball. <clears throat> it's going to make the video longer. We're already at five minutes. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, um, you don't need to use a setup wizard. Just go to the bottom here where it says import, and you'll look for the file. <clears throat> Yeah, what's up with this beach ball? There it is. Alright, and what we're going to do is we have the file on our desktop. Uh, we have it right here which says V61. So you go there. As you can see, it says uh, Pioneer All 6.1 uh, <clears throat> 4FX TSI. <clears throat> My understanding the mapper is set up where it gives you four effects, etc. Everything's pretty much auto checked in. Just make sure whatever is not grayed out is checked in. Say OK. <coughs> and then you'll get this other window. You'll go to Auto Setup. Make sure it says Audio Device Pioneer DDJ. SX Output. You'll set it up just like this. Input routing. You'll set it up like this. I haven't tried changing some of these settings and whatever. I didn't get all four decks working. So just keep that in mind. It may or may not be something that's available. <clears throat> Feel free to pause any of it as you go through it. <clears throat> over here where it says controller manager make sure that it says uh, pioneer hot cues generic uh, import make sure that you have pioneer ddj uh, sx pioneer selected and your out port as well once you complete this select close <clears throat> and you should be able to go so what i'll do is i'll just drag and drop a file <clears throat> This one, I'm not sure if it'll do MP4s. We'll try it. Yeah, okay, it reads MP4s. I know one of the unique differences between um, Virtual DJ and Tractor is Tractor will not do video. I, it will play video files though, like um, in other words, the audio on the video file. But beyond that, it, it won't um, do that. So, just uh, to let you know. All right, so. Let me crank up the volume a little bit. A little too loud. This does not work the light, um, <clears throat> but other than that, no updater. The raw does not work. <coughs> Slicer and sampler does not work. <coughs> This doesn't do anything. When you take it off vinyl, it just pauses it. <clears throat> so there you go. Uh, there it is with Tractor Pro. Like I said, I'm not a uh, Tractor Pro expert or anything like that, but I decided to, you know, shoot this film just as a walkthrough. And uh, for those that, I guess, want to tinker with it or whatever, um, keep in mind, like I said, uh, unique differences. It will not do video. However, it does have beat matching and a couple of features uh, that I thought were pretty neat. 
beyond that, uh, that's about it. All right, so we'll just uh, throw it out there for you guys and enjoy.